Hey everyone, today we're talking about a highly requested topic, red flags of emotionally abusive relationships. Because emotional abuse can be just as damaging as physical abuse, and is often harder to recognize because it's not always as obvious. But it's important to know these signs so you can protect yourself and get out of an unhealthy situation if you're currently in one and need to be sure before making a decision. I also have a bonus for those of you who would be sticking around until the end of this video. And it's a handy checklist you can always go back to whenever you feel unsure about whether or not you are in an abusive relationship. But that will come later in the video. So right away, let's talk about some red flags to look out for in an emotionally abusive relationship. Welcome to our channel, where we talk about the journey to self-development. If you're new here, we trust you're going to love this video. And if you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Without further ado, here we go. The first flag to pay attention to is constant criticism. Your partner constantly criticizing and belittling you can be a sign of emotional abuse because no one deserves to be constantly put down. Understand, first of all, that criticism is a normal part of any relationship. We all have areas where we can improve on and it's natural for our loved ones to point them out to us. However, when criticism becomes constant and never-ending, it's a clear sign of emotional abuse. Imagine being with someone who constantly puts you down, belittles your accomplishments, and tells you that you're never good enough. It can feel like a constant barrage of negativity, leaving you feeling drained and worthless. This is exactly what it's like to be in a relationship with someone who is constantly critical. But it's not just the words that are harmful. It's the underlying message behind them. When someone is constantly critical of you, they are effectively saying that they don't value or respect you. This can erode your self-esteem and leave you feeling like you are not worthy of love or happiness. Next is isolation, which is essentially when your partner is trying to cut you off from your friends, family, and other social connections. This can include preventing you from seeing them, making you feel guilty for spending time with them, or belittling and criticizing those close to you. It's a red flag because of how important it is to have a support system outside of your relationship. When someone is isolated, they become more dependent on their abuser, making it harder for them to leave the relationship. But it's not just about being alone. Isolation can also involve your partner monopolizing your time, so you have no space to yourself. They may constantly text or call you, or make you feel guilty for wanting to spend time alone. If you're in a relationship where you feel like you can't see your loved ones or have any personal time, it may be time to seek help because no one has the right to control who you see or how you spend your time. Gaslighting is another red flag to pay attention to, and by gaslighting, I mean when your partner tries to make you doubt your reality and memories. They might deny things that happened or try to twist your words. Gaslighting is a way for the abusive partner to control and manipulate the other, and it can be incredibly damaging to the victim's self-esteem and sense of self. So how do you know you're being gaslighted in a relationship? First, does your partner constantly deny things that you know happened? For example, do they deny saying or doing something that you know for a fact happened? This is a classic gaslighting tactic. Also, do they constantly try to make you doubt your perceptions and memories? This can come in the form of them telling you that you're crazy or overreacting, or even going as far as to deny things that you both witnessed together. Finally, do they try to manipulate you into feeling guilty for their actions? They do this to deflect responsibility and make you feel like you're the one in the wrong. Gaslighting can be very subtle and can be hard to detect, especially if you've been in the relationship for a long time. But it's important to trust your perception and to seek help if you suspect that you are being gaslighted. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content about self-development and improving your life. It really helps our new channel, and your kindness will go a long way. Emotionally abusive partners 
may also employ threats. Whether it's physical or emotional threats, it could be a threat of physical harm, a threat to end the relationship, or a threat to harm themselves if you don't do what they want. No matter what the threat is, recognize it for what it is, a red flag that should not be tolerated. Threats are a form of manipulation and control, and they're meant to make you feel afraid and submissive. They're used to bully you into doing what the abuser wants and are often accompanied by other forms of emotional abuse, such as criticism, isolation, and gaslighting. Emotional abuse often involves a lack of empathy from the abuser. They might not care about your feelings or end up making you feel like your feelings are invalid. This is not how a healthy, loving relationship should be. Empathy is being able to understand and share the feelings of the other person. It's putting ourselves in someone else's shoes and feeling what they're feeling. When someone is emotionally abusive, they completely disregard the feelings of their partner. They may belittle, criticize, or dismiss their partner's emotions and experiences. And this lack of empathy can be extremely harmful to the victim. One way to spot a lack of empathy in an emotionally abusive relationship is to pay attention to how your partner responds to your feelings. Do they show genuine concern and try to understand where you're coming from? Or do they brush off your emotions and make you feel invalidated? Another red flag to look out for is if your partner constantly blames you for their own negative emotions or behavior. Emotionally abusive partners may use their lack of empathy as an excuse to manipulate or control you by making you feel responsible for their anger, sadness, or other negative emotions. But hear it now, empathy is a crucial component of any healthy relationship. So if your partner lacks this trait and doesn't show concern for your feelings, it's a red flag that they may be emotionally abusive. These are just a few examples, but if you're experiencing any of these things, know that you deserve to be in a healthy, supportive relationship, and there are so many resources out there to help you get out of the abusive relationship. As I mentioned at the start of this video, emotional abuse is often overlooked and dismissed, but it can be just as damaging as physical abuse. It can leave you feeling drained, alone, and unsure of yourself. If you're unsure whether or not you're in an emotionally abusive relationship, here's a checklist of questions to ask yourself to get your answer. Number one, do you feel like you can't be yourself around your partner? Do they constantly criticize your appearance, your beliefs, or your behaviors? Do they try to control how you dress or who you hang out with? Number two, do they use your vulnerabilities against you, exploit your insecurities or past traumas to manipulate you? Do they use guilt or shame to make you feel guilty for not doing what they want? Number three, do you feel like your partner is always right and you're always wrong? Maybe they refuse to listen to your perspective or validate your feelings. Do they blame you for everything that goes wrong in the relationship? Number four. Finally, do you feel like you have to walk on eggshells around your partner so you avoid bringing up certain topics or expressing your opinions because you're afraid of how they'll react? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, you may be in an emotionally abusive relationship. Remember that you deserve to be treated with love and respect, and you don't have to stay in a relationship that makes you feel hurt or belittled. So don't be afraid to reach out for help. Take control of your life and your happiness, and never let anyone emotionally abuse you. Do well to share this video with anyone you think may benefit from it, and also leave a comment below sharing other red flags I may have missed out. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And if you find this information useful, check out this other video from our channel too. Thank you for watching.